Hello everyone, it's Red with RedDragonLeo.com. Today is Monday night, the 21st of March. I want to continue a little bit with about what is going on this year. I've been taking uh, some time here to watch this girl's channel here, Nine uh, Nanas. I guess it's Nanyas, Nanyas. I'm not sure how, you, how she pronounces it. Uh, Nanyas or Nanyas, you know, like that uh, that movie. Um, maybe that's how she's her name is pronounced. Um, Nanas, Nanyas. Hmm. We'll call it Nanyas because I'm not sure uh, Nanas or maybe it's Nanyas. Anyway, I've, I've been watching a bunch of her videos, and she is clearly, clearly um, an unfortunate girl that. Uh, uh, has been one of the people that has been abducted by the Satanist inside the military and used as um, a, a military project where basically this is exactly the same thing that they did with um, uh, Duncan O'Finian who is over on Project Camelot and who also made an appearance on Jesse Ventura's um, conspiracy theory show. Duncan O'Finian was abducted as well as a young boy, and he's in his late 40s, and so it was in the 70s when he was about seven or eight years old. And his story goes that they, uh, a black van came out to his place in the 70s out in the country, out in the middle of nowhere, and and uh, with tinted windows, and and after a discussion with. Um, his his dad and the man that was in the van that went out to the to the to the barn and talked and he could hear his dad yelling and cussing and uh, finally came in and um, told told Duncan you know the eight or ten year old boy to go with him and he was gone for you know two two or three or four years I can't remember how, exactly what it is you have to listen to his story and just go over to Project Camelot and. Um, and watch it. Project Camelot, of course, is, is right here on my site. You can um, see them right here. There's Project Am Project A Avalon is their, their form, but Project Camelot is where is Project Camelot? I know I got it on here. Um, there it is, Project Camelot. So you can just go to it, and you'll you'll be able to find it. Duncan O'Finian. So we can click on that if you want. But he tells his story, and I think the same thing has happened to this woman here. And she, this, and she's a, obviously a young girl. So I, I really feel sorry for her, but I do believe that uh, she is that she is legit, and she is getting information from. Um, she says angels, but you know aliens, angels. I, I've, I've said it numerous times. I do believe that the angels and the aliens that we have today are the same as well as the demons. Angels and demons are the aliens pretty much is, um, is, what, um, is what I have come to the conclusion. And here is Duncan O'Finian and you should uh, you know take the time to go there and you see what I did uh, to watch it and this is Duncan he tells a story and MK Ultra is their mind control pro program which is exactly what I believe this nine ninja has has experienced, and they are talking to her. To her, they are sending um, microwaves through her through the air. I guess you could call it, and they are um, influencing her her thoughts. And she's now got ten full, uh, like aluminum full, so she can sleep at night. I know that sounds crazy. You've seen it on the X Files, as the guys put ten full over their uh, camper. <laughs> You know, you think it's nuts, but it blocks radio waves is what basically it's doing. It reflects them, and they're sending some type of radio waves um, to her, to this girl, but she's getting two communications here, and after watching her, I do believe that she, she is legit, and she was dead accurate on her call for, um, for March the 11th, okay? Now, I posted this um, on the blog as well, but I wanted to cover this as well. And she talks about, I'll post this link directly to it on the blog for you, okay? 
But she talks about um, Saturn. This right here, that's a left arm. Let me let me increase this in size for you. Okay. This is uh, Virgo right here. This whole constellation right here, all these lines is Virgo. This is the left arm. This is, a, or I guess, a right arm. Depends on how you look at it. This is the body, and this is a leg, and this is a leg. Okay? And basically, Saturn, if we reverse this, you'll see where it's at. Oops. And she kind of shows you here. It's very, very interesting how the Sun, Mercury, um, and Saturn, and uh, Venus, how they slowly go down the, the arm of Virgo and into the belly, basically, is what she describes it as. And then they are birthed through the birth canal. You know, basically, you know, these are the two legs. You use your imagination there, guys. You know, so, anyways, you go through it, you, you can see that, that uh, each one slowly, slowly moves slowly and, and, and exits and is now uh, being born basically and the last one is Saturn and Saturn is not born until and here is Saturn being born this date is 11 11 11 now how scary is that we all know the Illuminati's numbers are 11 they love 11's the Freemasons the 111th degree Freemason the most evil of them all and here it is going to be born in November this is a very interesting video she's got a lot of you know um, evidence backing this up and this is a software program she's running I guess that anyone can can get and and download and run on a computer and you're getting the data I guess from NASA or from the satellites out there in space I'm not sure where all the data is coming from but I'm sure it's all legit showing exactly about this comet that is coming in and that basically September October and November is when it's going to pass and get close to the earth and cause um, you know the destruction of earth pretty much which would be splitting the um, United States in half and basically looking like this flag here which I put here on the blog this I know scary stuff huh yeah I don't know it's very very scary but and here I am down here in Jacksonville looks like I'm not underwater at least but uh, there's the rest of Florida and you can see it's underwater of course, my friend Anna is somewhere right down here in Tampa, so you know, worry for her if this comes to comes true. But these people are having visions, and of course, you know, I mean, I feel bad for everybody because this is going to be millions, and millions, and millions, and millions of people dying. I mean, you look at California gone. Um, this is really scary, very, very scary stuff, folks. It's, uh, but this is what comes around every 5,000 years or so is this orbiting body whether it's um, uh, a comet or a planet X or whatever we we don't really know um, but Richie or no Robert just sent me this picture here of um, <clears throat> of the two suns the two suns from this site the big wobble and you can see the website address bigwobblenews.blogspot.com <clears throat> the two suns uh, this was again they're, they're seeing two suns in the sky and you can see one there and and one there and well what's the second sun well that is the comet there it is again there's your regular sun there it is again um, this is the comet or the planet it is actually a planet it is not a comet because it's traveling too slow to be a comet but it's going to, to swoop around and uh, pass Earth and it's going to rotate the pole shifts. This is what it's all being talked about. This is the scary stuff. This is what she's seeing in her visions and dreams. And, you know, if something bad happens tomorrow, the 22nd, 23rd, um, she said she's seen that there's some bad things happen there as well. So she's being talked to by... Um, aliens you know good aliens future humans I believe uh, 
you know, good good spiritual fifth dimensional beings from that are that were basically called angels in the in the uh, Bible. Um, I believe that's exactly what it is. And I watched this this four parts, January 2012, and she talks about this. Very interesting girl, very troubled, but um, you know, I, I feel sorry for her. But basically, she's now chosen probably to be a um, some type of um, you know prophet I guess there's thousands and thousands of people now coming out and and seeing stuff and putting it up on YouTube uh, of course Lindsey Williams of course we all know his um, he talks as well and this is his DVD it's two hours and 32 minutes long I did watch it today uh, a lot of the same stuff he covers but but uh, he does talk in about um, the insider selling um, was was 400 to one then it jumped to 1200 to one and then and then it's 8280 to one uh, as his last count and then last January um, this month last month or two months ago I guess it um, I had posted it on here on how much the insider selling was um, from January the 10th to the 14th two to, four, five days I guess the insider sold 163 million dollars there was no 8,000 to one because there was no one there was nobody buying <laughs> it was just you know whatever to zero uh, nobody was buying the insiders are selling there's no way that this stock market is that these insiders are wrong the stock market is going to crash it's going to be the worst crash ever and we very well could be in the last days Armageddon I hope not I hope that this is wrong and and that uh, you know but these people are going to try to hide and you know just do the right thing at least this this girl's what she says and one of these I can't remember which one it was I watched and she says basically that uh, people have already been marked uh, the good people and the bad people have already been marked um, there, there will be those that go to I guess to the next level of existence fifth dimension sixth dimension heaven whatever you want to call it um, when this all happens and the poles shift and then there'll be the Illuminati and the gangsters that are already marked and got the mark of the beast and there'll be uh, and, and when they say the mark of the or, or the mark they will have um, the mark on their soul so it's not a, I guess it's not a physical mark it's the mark on their soul so there won't be no chip in us and stuff like that you ain't got to worry about it remember in the Bible God wins in the end times God wins so so I don't think we should worry about it folks just you know try to try to you know try to focus on making some money in the markets and protect yourself uh, financially if these events don't happen but there's no question that um, the powers that be the Illuminati that are planning this they're selling out they're dumping stock because they know that the market's going to crash, they know it's coming. So whether or not, whether or not the world ends or not, I don't know. But hey, those are real pictures of a, of a second sun, which is you know a comet slash planetary body. And if that girl nine Nanya is correct, um, then October, September, um, late this year, November. This planet's going to experience a major wobble, and a lot of people are going to be, uh, you know, dead, I guess, at least in this physical body. I'm not going to worry about it too much, because I know that, um, you know, I just do the right thing, and don't worry about it. My spirit, my soul is good, and I know that I'm going to just do the right thing. If my body goes, then so be it. So while I'm here, it's just a part of talking about the stock market and trying to educate people about the control that these people have got and um, not only in the stock market but just in everyday life and everything that they do they're so evil that just you just can't imagine they're evil so okay it's enough on that uh, um, it looks like basically we're going to go up here and hit this um, this necktie of resistance this should stop it on a daily close we should not close above that on a daily close I believe that's going to be the end of it that doesn't mean we cannot pierce through it uh, on the um, on intraday move we can pierce through it but on a, on a daily close I think we will close 
uh, below that. I do think that. Uh, even though I know this is curling up, it's still below zero. I think it's going to curl up, roll right back over. Uh, look at where it's at. We're below 50. Between 50 and 20, we're still in bear territory. I know we're pointing up. But we're still in bear territory. I think it's going to come up here and roll right back down. Same thing here on the slow stochastics and the full stochastics, both of them. So I'm expecting this to hit and maybe pierce intraday. Uh, same thing up here on the RSI, the relative strength index. We're still below 50. Possibly we go up here a little higher, but I think it's going to roll over and continue back down. 60-minute chart, of course, uh, is, is in a rising wedge. And it did do what I expected it to do, except it didn't go down Monday. And I expected it to go up um, later in the afternoon today, but basically they just they, they skipped that part. They went straight with the up move and skipped the down move. So all you got basically was the down move uh, on Friday, and that was it. Then gap up and nothing but garbage, sideways, bull flag consolidation today. So we are going to go a little higher. We're already up here at 5.0 on this line, and then this lower line's at 2.5. This will probably get up here a little bit higher, then it's going to roll over, I do believe, and break this rising wedge. So I think we could pop up. Intraday, we could actually pop up here, and as you can see, you can probably easily see it. We could pop up here possibly on intraday print up to that 1310 before it falls back down and puts a topping tail in. Um, same thing here, consolidation. I well, know I need to refresh the page on that. I think that. Uh, it's not accurate. Okay, I guess it is. Okay, so the same thing here. Up sideways consolidation, boom, bull flag. The you know pop up here, somewhere in this range, and if it can get that high, I don't know if it get that high or not, but and you know it obviously hit a double top there, but I think it's going to to fall back down and fail, and um, as you can see, it's getting way overextended here at 5.0 on the Mike D's here. It's trying to curl back up here. Trying to curl back up here. Um, and I do think it's going to do it in, uh, in the morning. A pop and uh, and then that's it. Look here at the 15 minute chart and you can clearly see same scenario. Uh, it has went down and recycled here. This makes it for the perfect move up early in the morning for it to pop up for feel this bull flag. I, I'm really not looking for much higher than 1308 think it could hit that maybe bang on it and then fall right back down so quick pop and fall down wherever it goes I think pretty much in the morning it's a shorting opportunity now the other thing Cobra did point this out and it was a good catch he pointed out a, 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 um, in, a um, inverted head and shoulder now his inverted head and shoulders you can see it's got a target of 134 44 and of course I've got that, um, that fake print at uh, one um, or let's see 135.58 of what was that fake print at I uh, can't even remember now uh, dun, 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 dun. no 138.86 I'm sorry I don't think that that one's going to be real I don't think it's going to play out at this time uh, at least not anytime soon. I, I don't see that. 138 is just, that's a new new high. I, I don't think that that's going to be the case, folks. So if this does pop up, and if it does hit thir one, one um, let's see, that'd be 131 is 1310 approximately on the SPX. So we're kind of looking at the same thing. If it gets up that high, you know, that's just basically hitting the double top right there. Uh, and from, from this date right here, March uh, 14th. That's possible. That's possible, but I think it's going to fail after that. I think it's, I think pretty much if we gap up in the morning and run high in the morning, it's a, it's a shorting opportunity. I, I really do. I think it's pretty much been that first few candles. That's it. Shorting opportunity. It should pop up and fail, and then roll over here. And uh, so sure, it could pierce through that a little bit. Um, you know this uh, uh, center channel here of, the, of these Bollinger bands. Um, it could pierce through that very possible but so basically what I am looking for here is a failure a move up on this bull flag you can clearly see a move up and a failure and to turn back down then roll back down the rest of the day now of course if something bad happens planned again tomorrow then of course the market's going to go down to wave three and we're going to crash but depends on how bad it is 
That's, I, I'd rather it just not happen, but it, it, I can't stop it. This that woman see that girl sees California as a mudslide. I mean, she she sees it happening well before October September time period. She don't know when, but you know it could fall into the ocean off of an earthquake. So you know it's scary stuff, folks. I mean, we really are. Uh, everything is pointing to the, the fact that we really are in the end times. I mean, you got physical evidence out there. You got two suns in the sky, and one of them is a comet. You've got the evidence, or not a comet, it's a planetary body, whatever, they're calling it a comet. You, you got planetary evidence that it's there and where it's going to sweep and the date it's going to happen, which is some, somewhere between September and, and November, that's when it's going to be its biggest influence. You got scary stuff. So get yourself right with, you know, with God, I guess, you know, I've never been really, really a religious person, even raised in the um, a, a Christian background and my aunt being a diehard Christian and all but I never was one to to believe all that or or not believe I just wanted evidence well I think I got enough evidence now to say that um, you know it's all real it's just that they were using parables back then and calling them angels and demons now I'm I'm my terminology is they're the aliens so whatever you know Take it for what it's worth. I'm sorry, sometimes I just ramble, folks, but I know that's why you come and watch these videos is because I go to the dark side and talk about things that other stock market people don't even mention. Um, so anyway, I think we've covered this. So pop up a failure and then break this uh, rising wedge and then come down here into wave three. Now, let me throw you out another scenario here. It is possible with gangster Ben Bernanke uh, you know, somehow manipulates the market again. And if we run up here and pop, you short it, and it comes back down here, and it looks like it's struggling, and it doesn't look like a uh, the start of a wave three down, and it comes down here and hits this, you know, this area here, 1280. Uh, it could turn. It could turn and come back up in some type of C wave here and make it a big A, B, C, and come on back up here to like 1330 or something. That is a possibility. So I still think it's shortable on the gap up, but you have to watch and see how far it comes down on the move down but, and see if it kind of stutters and stalls at 1280. Because do look at that daily chart. This daily chart is hooking up, okay? So we don't know when it's going to straighten back out and, and go back down. We don't know that. It could hook up and put in two, three, four, five days up. And if it did that, it's going to curl up the weekly too. You know, the weekly's down here low right now. It's not showing signs of curling up. It is pointing down, but we don't know that that's not possible. Ben Bernanke is a madman, and they're going to keep printing this thing and steal as much money as they can from people until the crap finally hits the fan and, and the fat lady does sing. Or in this case, she sits on a chair and breaks it, and all the glass in the room gets broken too. So... That is a crazy possibility, but I really think that once it pops up, if you short it, I think it, once it starts heading down, I think it's going to come down to wave three. But I did want to throw that out there. It's possible, pop up, wave B down, wave C back up. Either way, you got at least a short term, you should have at least a short term move down. I really do think that. So, so that's it, guys. I can't think of anything else. Um... Uh, so good luck everyone and I will see you guys on the blog tomorrow.